Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to Katharaj's channel. Today, uh, we have Birdie's very first doctor's appointment. We're going to basically go get an overall general checkup. What I like to do is actually, from my breeder, um, she says, hey, go to the vet, get them checked, get the hips checked, get everything checked. And if there's an issue, if I have an issue, we can kind of work stuff out from there. So, um, but yeah, I think everything should go smooth. I've been kind of watching the hips and the movement um, already. So I think everything should be good. We're just going to go ahead and get her checked out and get her some care insurance so we can be covered on that end. Um, so basically what they'll be doing is probably getting her weight, checking her hips, like I say. Um, I don't think she's due for shots just yet. They may give her a shot, they maybe not. Um, and we'll probably see if we can um, get something worked out and make sure she don't have fleas or anything like that. Because that's very common from coming, coming from a kibble. Um, so, uh, just an update with you guys as well on what's been going on in the home. I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't been getting very much sleep. And that's because she is very, very feisty at night. Uh, she does not like the cage. She literally would scream all night long and would try to break out the cage. So that was the first night. So she did it. She screamed all night the first night. The second night, I left her out the cage because I saw that she really can't tear anything up. She's so little, she can't even tear anything up at this particular point. So I left her out the cage. Um, just to see what she would do and how she would interact with Kot. And it wasn't bad, but they basically stood up the whole night playing. And I didn't get any sleep again. So, um, but they are interacting better. He's not more so bullying her now. He's, he's kind of figuring out how rough he should play and different things like that. And this is basically his first interaction with a dog, even this small. Um, before so all right so uh, I don't know how much she weighed right now I didn't I haven't even checked the paperwork I've been so tired um, so just drop a comment below and let me know how much you think she's gonna weigh I mean like I said she's really really tiny uh, when Kyle was her age he was about 10 pounds already um, so I'm curious to see Know how much she weighs. I want to say she might weigh like between four and five, maybe. So we'll see. Drop a comment. Come on. Get on. Hi, guys. It's the next day, and I'm here to basically discuss what the vet's office said about good old Birdie here. So she did come in underweight, uh, about two pounds or so. Right now, she's weighing about five and a half. Um, she needs to be weighing at least about seven and a half right now uh, is what we would like to see from her. Um, you know, when Kat uh, was her age, he was about 12 pounds, so he was pretty big. Um, but, you know, and he's a male too, so that counts. But, you know, two, two pounds short. She is the run of the litter, like I said. Um, but... Um, we should be able to get a weight up. We're going to be transitioning to the raw diet um, shortly here. So we're already trying to make some transitions through. Um, what we want to do is actually um, just wean her off that, that old dog food and get her to that pure raw diet uh, like we did for old Kite over here. Um, second thing, uh, they checked her joints and hips. She didn't have any joint hip problems. No type of issues there. Um, they actually found it to be in working order as if she's not the run of the litter. Uh, heart and lungs are fine. And usually when I go to the vet, I usually get a fecal test uh, right, out of the, right out of the gate. I always recommend to get a fecal test done. Uh, this will let you know kind of if they have parasites in their intestinal uh, organs or anything like that. Uh, as far as... Parasite, she doesn't have anything. They actually called me this morning and, and told me, hey, her fecal test is actually negative. Um, when I had caught the first time, he actually did have intestinal worms. Um, 
so that is and well intestinal worms and parasites so that is something for you guys to look at um and that comes from like fleas and ticks and different things like that so it is something easy for a puppy to pick up especially because they don't have that proper um that proper immune system to fight and that proper treatment uh that f flea preventative and worm preventative and stuff like that so it it is a blessing that she actually doesn't have any so that was a pretty good deal okay so one thing the doctor did note when I brought her in, she was tired, and like I told you guys, she's been up pretty much throughout the whole night these last two nights, so I'm assuming that's what it was, but my vet wants me to actually bring her back, uh, besides getting her uh, next vaccines, to just check her energy level and be monitoring her energy level throughout the day. Um, she was a little bit sleepy today, um, but I, I really just think it's because she stayed up like 48 hours strong, really, to be honest. she The first two days I had her, she probably napped like five minutes at a time. And um, so that could be one of those things um, that she's just catching up on sleep. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to sum up basically the first vet visit and kind of what went on. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and subscribe to us, please, so we can drop more content for you guys in the future. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next one.